Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. I just want to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors of Simple Program, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out, you can see the link in the description below, Dev Mountain Bootcamp, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring Simple Programmer. So I got a question about software versus game development. This is something that I've addressed a few times. I think we should probably have a game development playlist by now. Uh, you, you can check that out if you want to see my answers to questions on game development. I, I've, I've never actually been a professional game developer, although I have developed some games and I have taught some Pluralsight courses. Uh, so this question is from Dugukan, Dugukan, I think, and he says, Hey John, I know you've answered some game programming topics, but mine is a little different. I'm 16 and I have a passion for game programming, but in my country there isn't a lot of jobs, but there are for software development. Okay, so awesome that you're 16 and, you know, I wish I would have gotten a, a start like some of you have that I get emails from from some of you that are 14, 15, 16, 17. That's pretty awesome. Uh, so he says, my question is, which should I choose? I would much rather prefer game development and if I'm going to pick one, I have to give my full focus on becoming the best of that. Damn right. Good. <laughs> I, I like your attitude. You have to give your full focus on becoming the best of it. That's, I totally agree. Uh, I thought about going abroad, but I don't know what is life actually like there. I need your help. Uh, so additional info, I'm 16, proficient in C++, memory management, AI, and Unreal Engine 4. Wow, that's, that's quite a resume at, at 16. So, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off by recommending a book that you should read, which is a book by Cal Newport. It's called So Good They Can't Ignore You. Uh, and that book is all about choosing, choosing your career, essentially. Choosing the path in life that you go not necessarily based on your passion. Now, I'm not saying that, that you're, you're choosing based on your passion, right? I mean, obviously, you're a pretty logical guy, pretty smart to say that whatever you're going to do, you're going to be the best at it. I, I totally like that approach. But that book might help you, and it might help some of you out there that are really like, oh, i got to find my passion and you know, trying to figure out w what makes sense. Because one of the really good things that he says in this book is he's basically like, you know, He's basically like, look, pick the thing that's going to make the most logical sense for what you're trying to achieve in life. That's going to give you the kind of life that you want, not necessarily the thing that you love so much. You know, keep that as a as a side job, right? Uh, but but essentially, like, pick the wisest choice. Okay. So the the reason why I'm saying that is because in your situation, if in your country, if you want to stay where you're at. There's really not an opportunity for game development, but there's a lot of opportunity for software development in general. You might want to just pick that, okay? You might want to say, you know what, maybe I'll do game development as a hobby or on the side, right? And, but I'm going to put my full focus in, into software development, specifically niche down as well, right? So I'll give you a link to my blog or my blog course. I've got a blogging course on how to create a blog to boost your career and I talk about how to niche down in that but that's really important so when you just say software development I, I don't think that's good enough even when you're saying game development you need to niche down further if you're going to go down that route so I would say again if you're going to stay in your country and there's not game development opportunities that that's going to be tough I mean if you really really want to do this that's that's fine and you really want to stay where you're at but just recognize that you might not make a lot of money. I mean, you might have to do this totally independently, and it's really difficult to be an independent game developer. Believe me, I know a lot of them, and, and it's really, really hard. It's like being a starving artist. But you know what? Money is not the most important thing in life. Like, if that fulfills you, and you enjoy doing that, and you can get by doing that, then hey, I mean, that, that could, be, could be the life that, that you want. You got, you got to really think about, about these things. But I would also say that if if this really is your passion, and I shouldn't use the word passion because I just, just pointed you to the book where, where it said don't follow your passion, but if this is really what you want to do 
and you're willing to pay the price for it and and this is the thing that you feel is your purpose and that you feel like game development is just the thing that you've got to be doing then just go abroad right if you have the opportunity to yeah it might be scary yeah you might not know what to expect yeah but you know what in think about it like this right sometimes i try to fast forward my life so that i can get perspective and i say well what's it going to be like in, in in three years from now right when i first started this youtube video and I was like committing to doing a couple of videos a day, right? And I up that. I was like, man, that's a lot of commitment. That's a lot of, right? It's it's hard to come up with ideas. I'm nervous in front of the camera. But then I fast forward and I said, okay, how comfortable will I be in three years? What will my channel look like? What will my videos look like in three years? And that that helped me. So same thing here. Fast forward your life and say, okay, yeah, moving abroad might be scary. Okay, I might not know anyone, I might not speak the language, it might be weird customs, I might not be used to it, but if you've been living abroad for three years, imagine how it'll feel. It'll feel comfortable, it'll feel normal, right? You'll, you'll adjust to that. So a lot of times what, what prevents us from doing things, the, the reason why we have fear in life is because there's the unknown element. But if you fast forward three years in the future, all almost in all cases you can realize that the unknown will be solved and then that fear can dissipate and go away so I wouldn't let the fear of the unknown stop you from pursuing this but again this might not be your best choice right you have to logically decide again whatever decision that you make go all in with it give yourself the best opportunity for succeeding with it like I said I think if you go into game development if you, if you got to go abroad do it right or just be an independent game developer and say I don't care about making money I just want to do this this is just what I want to do and that's that's totally fine right make that choice or just say hey look I want to I'd, I'd like to do game development on the side but it's not practical it's not pragmatic I want to have other things in life and I want to be successful in my career so I'm going to go in software development in my country and I'm going to devote my focus to that and then you know I'll maybe do some game development on the side and and coincidentally that's the choice that I made right when I went into software development I really wanted to be a game developer but I wanted to have a successful career and life more than I wanted to be a game developer so I did some game development on the side and I went full force into what made more sense, what was more practical, where I could actually find a job and, and have a career at. So that's that's the choice that I made. You know, whatever choice you make, I, I agree with you though, go f all in on it, go full in, play full out, as Tony Robbins always says, and, and make sure that you, you commit to it. All right, if you have a question for me, you can email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And if you like this video, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button. I do about two to three videos a day. You don't have to watch them all, but you can if you want to. I'll talk to you next time, take care.